Now to our game of the week. First place in the West Michigan Conference is on the line tonight when Montague squares off with Whitehall. 13 on your sidelines, it's our game of the week. And Mike Lissette joins us now live from Montague High School with a preview, Mike. Juliet, really, this is everything you'd want in a 13 on your sidelines game of the week. You got two really good teams, they're rivals, and they're playing for something. You know, we talk about it every week in this six game season. The importance is magnified by so much, and tonight really is no exception. Here's what's on the line. You got first place in the conference. You not only have that, but you have each team trying for a perfect season, so they'd keep that going. And on top of that, the winner of tonight's matchup would guarantee itself at least a share of the conference title by season's end because, of course, next season, next week, the regular season wraps up. There's a lot of pressure, but instead of running from it, it sounds like both teams are embracing it. No, it's a great rivalry. I think it's just a matter of, uh, you know, our guys having, you know, the upper hand in the trenches. And winning that battle up there has always been important uh, to any football game, let alone this one. So we've been able to do that at times, and uh, that's our, what we're trying to do. We're playing Montague this week, and uh, we know that they are an excellent football team. And, you know, we have to be ready in all phases to, to be competitive. Phases to be competitive. And if they are competitive, and if they do win this game, talking about Whitehall, it would uh, stop the recent trend in this series. Montague has won the last five games in this series. Kickoff coming up tonight at 7 o'clock right here at Montague High School. It's one of seven big games we're covering tonight on 13 on your sidelines. You can catch it around 11:15 tonight right after your local news. Reporting from Montague High School, I'm Mike Lissette, 13 on your side sports.